Hi, Joe Cerrone. And Alan Rosen. Welcome to CAD 134 in our first Zoom classroom meeting. All righty, I'm going to turn off my monitor. And we're going to take a look at the agenda for today, which is located in our main splash page in D2L. Hmm? All righty. So welcome to CAD 134, Basic AutoCAD for Interior Design. We will be online every week on Zoom at 10.30 a.m. using the link in D2L. And so that's the same link that we're in right now. It's in the main splash page, and it won't be changing. Today, we'll introduce the course and go over policy and procedures for the course. Here's the agenda, introductions, D2L, which stands for Desire to Learn, course management, class policy and procedures. We'll take a look at the syllabus. We'll also look at the outline of topics. We'll look at the textbook and videos that are supporting the course, CAD software, and then we'll go into our lecture and our assignment, which is a pretest. And so as we continue, the assignments that we'll be working on are shown here. And so this is our assignment that is in module two and some of the drawings with CAD. So as an introduction, I'm Joe Cerrone. I teach um, mechanical design and CAD courses. I have um, a degree in industrial management in design and drafting. Uh, certified high school uh, STEM instructor. Um, I've been teaching CAD courses um, since uh, quite some time. I, I taught them at Northern Illinois University. I opened up their CAD labs uh, when I worked there as a graduate student, and I've been working here at Oakton um, since the 90s. Um, certified vocational instructor in things like CAD, STEM, electronics, Al, uh, would you like to unmute yourself and tell a little bit about yourself? Certainly. I'm Alan Rosen. I'm a certified instructor from Illinois State University. Uh, I certified from junior high and middle school all the way through college. Uh, I was teaching uh, drafting, uh, computer-aided design, interior design, and all nice little things go along with it. Um, I was teaching up in Northwestern for a while. And uh, now I'm just teaching here at uh, Oakton College. All right, great. Let's take a look at D2L and the policy and procedures. And so here's the D2L course shell. And you can just use a web browser. You don't necessarily have to go through the My Oakton area to, to load things in there. And you can just go and type in D2L.Oakton. Edu, and that'll get you to the main splash page in the course. And you'll see all of your courses that you have at the college. And we're going to be running the CAD 134 course here. And in the main splash page, what you'll see is the agenda. And then we'll put recordings as, as they are uh, deemed relevant to share. And so we have a welcome recording here. And so this is the welcome from your instructor, how to get access to the course. And we put this out last week for students who were interested in finding out about the course. Hi, Joe Cerrone. Hello, Welcome to CAD 134, Basic AutoCAD for Interior Design. In our Back to the main splash page. We'll use this link every week. And so today is August 23rd, and we'll run our Zoom meeting starting at 1030. And today we're going to go through all the policy and procedures. So the Zoom uh, recording will probably be longer. Uh, in the future, we'll make short recordings, and you can just go and see what the outline of topics and the assignments are for the week. So here's our Zoom link. 
and students are not attended to attend the Zoom meetings, but it's a great way to get questions answered if you have any, any questions or concerns about the course. If you can't make it to these Zoom meetings, email us using D2L. And so there's an email right here that students can submit an email to Al and I. And if you'd like a Zoom meeting at a different time, just let us know. As far as installing the software and, and information, we'll put it here in D2L. And so here's how to get the software. And so if you click on this link, Students can get a copy for home use of the Autodesk software. And you want to get, you want to make sure that you're going through the student portal. And so when you go to get products here, we're in the educational link for the Autodesk software. All right, resuming. So when you install or when you when you go to the uh, link in the main splash page for getting the student software, you want to make sure that you're in the educational community here. And they have a short video on how it works. Essentially, what you need to do is you need to click on this getting started link. And then if you don't have an account, then you then you have to fill this out. And so you come in here and you tell us that you're a student and then they want to know other information and, and you'll go through these. And at one point in the document, they'll ask you for supporting documentation. And so scan your student ID uh, or your copy of your course uh, for the semester. And what they will do is they'll validate your student role and that gets you free software. And so if you have any questions with this or you need any assistance, we are here in person on Wednesdays. And what we do is we tell students that they can come in and they can uh, work with us in the class for the online. And it's what we're calling flex. We're moving towards that where some of the students may wanna come in and work in the labs. Some of them may wanna work from home and we're making that available to students. And so the easiest is to have a copy of the software at home that you can run. And so we support students downloading and installing the software provided that they use the educational software. All right, back to the homepage. The school is equipped with 2023 Autodesk AutoCAD. It will work with other versions. It's not super different every time they release a version of AutoCAD. So if you have an older version or if your company does, that's fine. Not everybody has a new car. Not everybody has new software. And it, the way the textbook and the course is, is designed, it's not super content specific, meaning it's geared towards drawing for architectural and interior design applications. And so if we look at the textbook, we'll be using AutoCAD 2023. And it's a good book because it's very uh, hands-on orientated. You can look at the purchase options here in the link. And if you like eBooks, I recommend Red Shelf. And we'll be using the Red Shelf today for our digital copy, but you could also go with Google Playbooks or if you like paper copies, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, they will allow you to purchase the book that way. You can also go to the bookstore and purchase the book at the bookstore, or if you have a voucher for the book, you can redeem it there. The book is great, no prior AutoCAD experience required. So it's a basic textbook. It's specifically for interior designers in classroom use. And it has tutorials that are focused on this hotel suite project. And it covers both Mac and PCs. But as we talk about the content of this book, Oakton is set up with PCs or Windows computers. And so when we make the recordings and we create the videos, you'll notice that those are in Windows. If you have a Mac, you can have a Windows partition placed on it and it will work exactly the same. But if you don't, it's okay. It's just gonna look a little bit differently and the technique will just be a little bit um, 
just like using an Android phone versus using an Apple phone. All right, that's our textbook. Back to the main splash page. Email us if you have any questions. Please use the D2L email. Installation, we've made a recording. And so here's the recording on how to install the software. And it goes through the information we talked about where Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to install the AutoCAD software. And, it will, and, and, so, and so here's the information educational about how to get educational access. All righty. Continuing. Most people are visual learners, and so reading how to install software and thing, things like that can be a little bit challenging. So we like to make these videos, and that's how we'll communicate things that need to be installed, like the software. All right, module one, we'll get to in a little bit. This is our outline of topics, and so starting today, we'll cover chapter one and chapter two. We've color-coded the information here, and so blue is reading, green is drawing, and red is quiz. Here's our learning objectives for chapter one, going from CAD, drafting to CAD, getting familiar with AutoCAD, toolbars, help, et cetera. And then we have a video that goes through chapter one. And so when we work with the textbook, here's my digital textbook right here. I use Red Shelf 2023. And as we look at it, here's our acknowledgements. We can come in here and we can look at the outline of topics. The author um, is a, um, a professor that teaches courses in design and manufacturing as well as interior design. And um, we find that this is a great hands-on type book. If we look at the table of contents. Today, we'll start off with getting comfortable with AutoCAD, an introduction, and we talk a little bit about drafting and how drafting is changed using CAD systems now, and some of the techniques that are used to work with a computer versus working with hand drawing tools. And then the textbook continues with these basic AutoCAD commands in the first few chapters. And so for today, we'll look at chapter one and chapter two. But as we progress through the course, the modules map to the textbook. And so the learning objectives for each chapter will be posted and then we'll follow these chapters. And so chapter three goes through these different commands and every week we'll pick up new drafting techniques. And so we start with basics and then we continue working on those. And then as we master the basics, we'll start working on these projects. And so the project for this course will be a hotel suite project. And we'll take a look at that as we start to work with it. But we'll be designing a space with a room and with a small kitchen and with elevation drawings, et cetera. All righty. So that's our textbook. Back to the main splash page. And then as we go through, we have these videos. Like I said, we've color coded them. And we've also put in content. And so content that you'll see, like these buttons down here in the main splash page, are there to help you learn CAD. And so these are videos from the author. And it basically is a short video that gives you concepts. And so when you're preparing for the course and you're doing your readings, you can download these videos and they're short and they give you an idea of how. In this video, we're going to discuss AutoCAD fundamentals. Fundament and so we can look at these different fundamental techniques from the author, which would be things like how the screen is laid out, user coordinate systems, or the vertical versus the horizontal axes, X and Y coordinates. 
et cetera. And so we have these short videos that are there for you to go through and to pick up on some AutoCAD techniques. They're not required. You don't have to watch them. We don't monitor them. They're there this for your video on AutoCAD fundamentals. We're going to discuss drawing lines with some people already have some CAD experience. And so if you have CAD experience, you can kind of fast track your way through these drawings. But Al puts those in there so that we can assist students with the learning objectives. All right, continuing on with our agenda items. And so we're following our agenda. We've gone through the introductions. We're in part two, D2L course management, and we're gonna go look at policy and procedures in the syllabus. So the course has a D2L course management system. And in the top here, we have contents, which we'll, we will put our modules in. Over here on the right side, we have our calendar. And so every week you wanna keep an eye on the calendar for which drawings are due and what we're working on. And so as we work on these modules, the pretest or our first assignment in module one will be due August 30th, which is next week. And when you turn that in, you'll be graded and we'll talk about that as well. And so in the outline of topics, you can keep an eye on what our due dates are. In content, and I'm gonna view this as a student. We'll take this from the top on the left-hand side. Overview. Has information about the course. Welcome to basic AutoCAD for interior design. Today's date. Course runs until December 13th. Emails, telephone, Zoom link. All of them are the same that's in the splash page. We'll use D2L. Here's our link to the book. Here's course information and office hours. And so we're here 1030 until 1130. We're actually here quite a bit longer, but for our class purposes, we've got that posted. And then assistance is available online by Zoom on Thursday. So if you can't make it to a meeting and you're and you're needing some extra support, you can you can request the Zoom meeting on Thursday. You need to email us, or if you can't make it on Thursday, let us know when you can, and we can put something together to help you if you need assistance. Continuing, as we look at the course syllabus, course syllabus is located here. We click on that. Basic AutoCAD for interior design, prerequisites are none. We're going to introduce students to computer-aided design, working with floor plans, electrical plans, elevations, and essentially we'll teach you how to use electronic drawings for construction, editing, and dimensioning. Our learning objectives are to be able to create these floor plans, elevations, and some three-dimensional drawings, and then we'll work with the computer-aided design system to put together a portfolio of drawings. And we want students to be able to have the proper techniques for the American National Standards Institute drafting procedures, things like text height and dimensioning policies. Academic policies and procedures are here. Please take note of what's acceptable. If you're not sure, you can click on this link here and look at the student outline. We'll take a look at the outline of topics next. Methods of instruction will be lecture, drawing techniques, and a hands-on focus, focusing on the solution of problems. We're using this book here, AutoCAD 2023. Um, it's current and up-to-date with the software. We've taught the course over the last 10 years with this book here, and it's got some terrific assignments but it's no longer in print. And so we'll use it for reference and it's a great way for us to add some content and some additional assignments. If you're looking for an additional source of material, you can find this book on Amazon and purchase it, but it's not required. Information about DDA, 
methods of evaluating will have uh, scores 90, 80, 70, 60 as we go through for appropriate A, B, and C grades. And then other course information about accessing services here at Oakton. All right, let's go take a look at the outline of topics. So the sequence of topics Today, we'll take a look at getting comfortable with AutoCAD, setting up and introducing AutoCAD. And again, we have color-coded these. Blue is reading, so we'll read chapter one. Red is testing, and green is hands-on drawing. And so each week, here's chapter one and two for the first, for today, or for this week. The drawings, um, the module one assignment is the pretest. We'll talk about that next. But as you look at it every week, we have the reading assignments for you, the drawing assignments for you, and the quizzes. We'll have a midterm in October, and we'll work on this hotel suite project as we continue through the course. Thanksgiving recess, final review, and course ending procedures in December. All right, AutoCAD software, so you can get the AutoCAD software. Again, this is sort of just the same information that's in the, in the main splash page as we look at the installation that's here as well. And we'll use some ARC templates that we'll talk about. Module one. So as we look at module one, we can go through and take a look at how module one works. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stop this recording and make another recording that will show how to work with module one. So for now, as we look at the basic introduction, every week we'll have a Zoom classroom meeting at 1030 on Wednesdays. Information will be posted in the calendar. We'll use the same Zoom link here. And then we'll go through a module every week. You'll create that information within the module. In module one, you wanna make sure that you complete the pretest to show attendance. And so this is due next week on the 30th. And the Pretest is worth six points each, and we'd like you to go through, download this, and complete the advantages of using AutoCAD. What's your experience with interior design? And tell us a little bit about your drafting experience. What would you like to learn? What is it, you know, about the computer-aided design system? All right, back to the main splash page. Remember that there is support available also. We are working with our administration uh, for student support. And there's a student support announcement here in our announcements. Let's find it here. So we have Wednesdays. Starting at 1030, students can come into classroom. Thursdays, flex, you can request a Zoom meeting if you just can't make it or if you need some assistance. And then we're working on flex pending administrative approval. And so we're working on this where we'll have a, a lab assistant that's available um, over here at the Skokie campus pending approval of our administration. Textbook information. Alrighty. I'm going to stop this recording and we're going to start another one showing how to do module one. Remember, if you have any questions, send us an email or a message alert.